YouTube channel. I'm back with another freaking popping video. And as you can see on the title, I'm back again to put you guys on and to discuss some misconceptions about China. So if you are someone who's looking to move to China and you're interested, please don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button, become part of the gang, leave a comment, give me a like and, my, and a thumbs up for my consistency. I say this in every video because you guys, honestly, I make time to sit down and feed you guys information so just to you know say thank you you guys should definitely give me a thumbs up and you know share my videos with other people that you think may be interested in moving to China okay so first of all I want to address you know some of the misconceptions that I don't want to waste your time <laughs> You know, my videos are very short, straight to the point and informative. So the first misconception that I do want to discuss is the fact that you have to speak Chinese to survive in China. You do not need to know Mandarin, you guys. That is a myth. Yes, it will be more convenient, but you can still survive without knowing how to speak the language. And as time goes on, obviously, you do learn the basics. Um, I use Google Translate you know you can download the language offline and whenever wherever you are whether you're connected to the internet or not you can use the app to help you out if you want to communicate with a taxi driver if you want to communicate at the, at the shop you know at the supermarket or whatever so don't don't go out here learning how to speak chinese honey because it is not easy um i mean you can you can learn but you don't have to know how to speak it to live in china okay so that's misconception number one the second one is honestly the food you guys uh -uh. like we eat good you've seen videos on my youtube channel we eat really really good yes in the beginning it's hard to settle in and i wasn't very open to trying out new food um but if you have good colleagues they're definitely going to give you you know a taste of some local traditional food and most of it does taste good obviously there's certain things i wouldn't eat because our taste buds, you know, our palates are not the same, honey. So um, I think some of you would love to see, you know, food that you don't normally see in South Africa. So I think I'm gonna show you some of that. But anyway, guys, there is good food. You can still eat, you know, your Western food, pizza, burger, fries, chicken wings, ribs, whatever. And then if you want, you know, a nice stew, like there's Indian restaurants, if you want curry and rice, there's proper Chinese restaurants where they sell proper home cooked meals like vegetables and rice and meat. So, you're going to be fine, you're going to be good, don't stress. Okay, the next misconception I think is cost of living. Now, I do have a video on my YouTube channel that tells you guys exactly, not exactly how much you need, but approximately how much you need to survive. And it's not that much if you're someone coming from South Africa and trying to settle in into china right your, your lifestyle is not going to be all glamorous and crazy because you just got here and you're literally going to use what you have to survive until you get your first paycheck the cost of living i feel two ways about it like i can say it is low because we don't pay rent and stuff like that and even the ones that do get an allowance for the rent so it's basically free right and some um some schools i don't know about training centers but some schools offer lunch and breakfast like my school i don't eat there but you can go there to eat breakfast and lunch it's good food you know it's good catering um yeah like guys you're going to save a lot of money but because you're earning a different a different amount of money to what you normally used to it could obviously be more you wouldn't move across the world if it's not more it's gonna be more which means your lifestyle is gonna increase you're gonna take yourself out a lot more you're gonna shop in sections that are a little bit more expensive basically i'm trying to say um your tax bracket is different so i would say cost of living is low but once you say you've settled in and you have a social life and you know <laughs> you realize you can afford certain things it does kind of increase a little okay so the last misconception i'm not here to waste your time um racism 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 we have to address racism i do not experience racism where i'm currently at and and i don't think a lot of people do experience racism but um it's like any other country guys it's like any other countries there's a few selective that probably may look at you funny and if you're already insecure i am black 
I'm very secure and confident in who I am. Doesn't that just make sense that I'm wearing this t-shirt? But anyway, I'm very confident in who I am. I'm black. I love my hair. I love my wigs. I love my makeup. I love my skin. I love my features. <laughs> Honey, I love my body type. There's nothing you can tell me about being black that's going to make me feel bad. So when anyone else stares at me, they, I'm like, maybe they acknowledging God's greatest creation simple you know i don't start fights i don't um there's loud there's people that are just loud and like you know how how hectic racism is in south africa seriously i have not experienced it here at all so that's definitely something that shouldn't scare you away you guys i'm here to motivate my young south africans i'm saying jump at the opportunity it's not just going to create a better life for you but it's going to create a better life for your family the ones looking up to you and just showing the ones you know coming up behind us that listen it's possible you can travel the world you can come from humble beginnings and you know try and strive for the best honey be your best self you know and leave a mark in your family you know um but anyway i really hope you guys enjoy this video these are definitely the misconceptions that i thought are very very important to discuss so if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any questions leave a comment down below follow me on social media if you need help with anything i'm your girl i'm your girl thank you for tuning in bye